Hello and welcome back to Infinite Factory. Today we are going to work on shuttle maintenance. Uh, I imagine there's going to be more block evisceration. Uh, let me see. I, I see that little display right there. This is what I was going to look for. Well, that was a pain in the ass. Let's run it again and see what happens. Oh, what the hell? One of the inputs must be jammed. This is bloody ridiculous. I don't see anything. Uh, oh, maybe it's a bit farther back. Oh, wait. Was I even pushing the right button? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. So it looks like they want us to take off these broken bits and weld on the functional bits. The problem I have with that is that these have to get into position very quickly because there's this does not stop this just keeps on trucking so let's just yeah that's coming like that is there all right so How do I do this? big issue is the way this is towards the back so I can't just tack it on immediately I have to wait a certain bit so there's gonna have to be a sensor telling me when to tack it so I think the first thing I want to do is just immediately put a sensor right here that will push out every other block. And this may be the first time where I decide that I need wait to slow to slow down the rate at which they come in okay I'm gonna do that there and then build a similar structure on the other side I have a plan Thank you. 
is probably a slightly better way to do that. But that's okay. Let's do it like that for now. Okay, we definitely want that to happen. I built that a little offline, I think. need just very immediately this happens all right now down here This is gonna happen. All right, let's run this. Okay. Problem one. <laughs> Tack that together. All right, run it now. So that all gets eviscerated, which is perfect. And already we have problems. All right. So, I can make this more complicated, which I know that doesn't sound like me, but all right, let's let's remove that and just build it up one. Let's see if that. good enough. God damn it. <laughs> Tack those together. Alright, run it. I mean, the, the big thing right now is how this works. too bad it's just a little slow so let's actually yeah let's increase the rate a little bit of course that's not gonna work now Just increase the rate that this happens. And it's already broken. So reset that, forget about that. That was not fruitful. Alright, so let's run.
not being able to hold this unit out is the huge problem here. Like, if I could just make this unit wait, we'd be fine. I do want to try just bringing this up one more, just to see. I don't particularly think it's going to make the difference, but it is possible because these are getting delayed because of that unit. What the fuck? I forgot to put the the belt back. All right, try that again. All right, they're not getting delayed anymore, which is great. The only problem, I mean, right here, we are very close to this. We've got a couple issues. The first being that I built this too high. The second being that we now need to push all this out. And I think we're just going to have to time that based on this big center block. I don't think we can time it to when this is full. So, uh, number one. block to be here. Okay, that's number one. So now, run, fast forward. This is all fine. Oh, okay. problem now is they're falling so far not getting here fast enough. It's it's just it's a it's like a block too late. question is, can I build something to hold this back a moment? That's really, that's really all it needs to be. It just needs to hold this thing. That did it. That, that's all I needed right there. I think. Okay, drop. And now if that shoves, 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do a big wiring thing right now. So, number one, sensor right here. These all need to come down. This, I, this is right now the point where I believe it works. Little delay there. These pieces get in line. And then as soon as that hits, it's sent out. Oh, they go. Okay. All right, hold up. They, they got. All right, hold up. We can, we can fix this. Well, fix it to a point. I, I, think, I think the timing's off. But they didn't get welded, and I think that's just fixable by just doing that. Okay. What? Get out of there. I think I can use one less block if I do it like that. Sent down. Good, 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 good. Okay, I just want to see. Alright, it does get. Okay. Okay. It does get welded on. But. They're not getting welded on evenly, and they're both late. And it's also now stuck because the conduit's in the way. But that's... That's an easy fix, I think. That's an easy fix by just putting the sensor over here, too. Um, actually, can I tuck the sensor, like, in here to make that faster? Let's find out. Okay, let, let's see. God damn it. Not the welder, fuck. Okay, let's give this a go. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Alright, the, the good news, there's, there's good news and bad news here. The bad news is it didn't quite work good news is that's a pretty easy fix. We, we actually just put it too far ahead. 
so we move it back one and now that side should be good look bang oh we got it oh oh shit i didn't think it was done i thought i would have to fix the other side too but no we got that all right let's do the fucking talk through holy shit we did it yeah i wasn't ready for that okay all right the front here is easy uh we got we just have two eviscerators because once it gets to that point, the back ones fall off, so they just have to fall into these other of us raiders in order to have them all destroyed. But secondly here, this thing hits its own sensor, which keeps this activated, and that just takes a tick to get out of the way. Once it's passed, it just takes a moment for that to retract, so that holds this block back by just one time unit. And that is just enough for this timing over here to work out for me. And then, over here is pretty simple. We've seen this sort of design many times. Two blocks come out. Once the first block gets to this point, it pushes the other block off. And now they're both just falling. And it's the same on both sides. They both just fall down. And they actually, as soon as they fall, they hit a sensor, which triggers a push button, a push down there. But that doesn't really matter until the second block gets here, because then that'll push the first block out. And the same as the third pushes the second block out. And then at the time that they all get there, the, the main unit is coming out and hits a sensor on this side first. And only because this one's taking a little bit longer to go across the line, so this side needs to go off first for the timing to hit. So that goes off and it pushes it pushes all three blocks out into this welder, which welds all three of those together, plus welds the whole unit to the main unit with this welder here. And then a second later, it hits this sensor, those three get pushed out, boom, welded together and welded to the unit, and that is it. That is done. Absolutely fantastic. Destroys those broken thrusters, builds new thrusters. Once all three get there, pushes it off, boom, welds it to the thing. And we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty good as far as the averages are concerned. Yeah, I, I did a pretty nice job on this one. That, that's that's cool too. The fact that not only I did it, but I did a decent job of it. That that, that feels pretty good. Very pleased. Uh, the blocker. All right, blockers are functionally similar to pushers, but are normally extended and retract when a signal is received. They're useful for delaying blocks on conveyors, but can also be used as logically inverted pushers. The arms of blockers are coated with a special material that absorbs deleted and makes them invincible, invisible to sensors. So I don't know if I had one available for, for the shuttle maintenance, but that's essentially what I just did. I blocked that main unit until it got by the sensor. If this was available, I could have, should have used this, but as is, it worked just perfectly, and I am happy with that, and I'm happy with this episode. I will see you all on the next one. Take care.